Hi there, I want to show you now the 8 bar pattern as played on the drum kit. So what I'm going to do is take that 8 bar phrase that I showed you in the last tab, uh, I'm going to put the phrase onto the bass drum. I'm going to play then the 5 hi-hat variations that uh, you would have learned back in Drum Sense Volume 1. And uh, we can um, start working on some coordination. There's some advanced hi-hat patterns that we'll do with these as well, but for now I'll just play the the five, uh, the five hi-hats from Drum Sets Volume 1. So here's the pattern on the bass drum. It goes... Okay, so there's the pattern on the bass drum. I'm going to play 8th notes, 16th notes, 8th notes open on the offbeat. 16th notes open on the offbeat and the offbeat 8th ones, uh, offbeat 8th uh, note ones. So I'll play those five high hat variations. Here we go. Um, a little bit of practice on that, sorry. The eighth note offbeat ones are particularly hard just getting all those spacings right. Um, from, from there what we can do is add back in some of the fills uh, and some of the, uh, the phrasings that we did um, on the pad, but now on the kit. Remember we can play them around the kit, we can play things as accents on the toms, accents on cymbals, we can play them by um, any of those variations by doubling up the unaccented strokes into double strokes. So we get a huge amount of variations that we can um, pull from and it's a matter of working through these different variations and finding some, some good ones. Uh, so let me just play um, maybe the first line and I'm going to loop that round as a, as a pattern on the, the right symbol and hi-hat. Maybe I'll just start on the hi-hat. Um, and. Uh, I'll play some variations. I might play some alternative sticking patterns. Now we haven't talked about alternative sticking patterns yet, but um, uh, I might do that actually in another tab, just to show you that um, all of our rudiments don't just have to be single strokes or double strokes. We can put an alternative sticking concept to those, and uh, and that will change everything really. Uh, we would have learnt this once again prior to coming into the eight-bar pattern, and then uh, we'll be applying these alternative stickings to. Uh, this, these phrases. Uh, so for example, uh, the first one, if I did it as eighth notes, as alternative sticking, um, it's going to be like this. So the first, the first line is uh, accents. As alternative sticking, it's going to be the right hand doing all of the accents. Some alternative sticking in, um, doing it as triplets, which is great. I really love the, the triplet alternative sticking. So uh, here's the first line as triplets, hand to hand. So and now as alternative sticking. Um, once again, the right hand's playing all of those accents. 
syncopated roles for the modern drummer, uh, which it takes this idea just to another level as well um, by really developing that phrasing concept. Once you've got the phrasing idea going on, you can really start applying this to your solos, start applying it to other things like beat displacement and all that kind of stuff. So all that hard stuff, all the what you might deem to be the, the really cool stuff, um, if you can apply these really solid concepts to some of these more complex ideas, you're going to get some really uh, great sounding and interesting uh, material coming out. So don't be tempted to jump into the, the hard and tricky stuff like the beat displacement and all that kind of stuff without building up um, a really good knowledge of and, and foundation of some rudimental uh, concepts and some really solid coordinational um, uh, uh, concepts as well. Because all that stuff will lead to uh, being a better drummer uh, in the long way. So don't take shortcuts, put in the hard work, uh, you'll really get the results and, and be very uh, happy that you did uh, spend that extra time, work that bit harder. Enjoy the stuff, it's great fun when you get to it, it does take a bit of work but uh, I find it very very enjoyable. Have fun, thanks. <laughs> 